Have you heard of ID spoofing? I had not either until today, but apparently it's easy to pull off and becoming more and more common. This latest scam has prompted even the U.S. House of Representatives to approve legislation making it a crime for someone to fake their outgoing caller ID. With more, here's CBS 2's Nikki Valley. Here's how it works. You type in your phone number, the number you want to call, and then a disguise number. ID spoofing is very easy to pull off. Terrible. That's how Linda Sedano felt when someone stole one of her credit card numbers. They stopped the purchase before it went through, but they called me, so they said someone has your number. ID spoofing, the latest form of theft. A simple Google search shows just how easy and cheap it is to sign up for the system. I don't take phone calls. If, even if I recognize the number, sometimes I let it go to voicemail and then respond back. Just we own our own company and we have children and we're really busy. The House has approved legislation making it a crime for someone to fake their phone number, something police say has made their job a bit tougher. One of the tools that we've used in investigations, you know, within the last few years is the caller ID. And when the caller ID is, is giving you false information, it just it creates some extra work. CBS2 contacted the founder of one of these sites, who admitted there are flaws with the system, but defended his. Before caller ID spoofing was around, people were committing fraud using pay phones or regular telephones, and AT&T doesn't feel responsible. While these systems are often used for the wrong reasons, many of these companies claim they're targeting the likes of law enforcement, debt collectors, and attorneys. I'm Nikki Valley for CBS2, the Desert's News Station.